to the organizers, Dr. Sanjay and his team for inviting me to convey my views on home-based hunger mother care. I take it for granted that you all know about hunger mother care. And so now this is the new thing which we need to apply to our country. And what are the reasons for it? I'm going to talk about My lecture will cover WHO recommendation to implement Kangar Mother Care in facility, Cochrane Review of 2016, KMC and Reduction in Neonatal Mortality, situations where home based Kangar Mother Care can be applied in Indian setting, and latest Lancet report which has come on 4th October 2019, meaning this month, which mentions home-based KMC reduces neonatal mortality in poverty. Globally, over 20 million low-birth weight infants are born each year, responsible for 70% neonatal deaths. Here, you need to go only back to basics to do and make all these babies to survive. 97% of world's lower weight infants are born in developing countries of those 40% in India alone. Lower weight babies are not only at high risk of death but also have impaired growth and development. High coverage of effective intervention is required to manage low birth weight infants to improve survival, growth and development, WHA is mentioned. Global experts have agreed after extensive scientific thinking that in countries with high burden of neonatal deaths coupled with inadequate public health services Simple intervention like promotion of breastfeeding, kangal mother care have a great potential for saving thousands of newborns where nothing is available. Community healthcare workers with proper training, motivation, guidance and support can help in promotion of simple intervention and fill up the gaps of services of doctors to achieve home-based KMC to some extent with follow-up visits. For this training to different categories of nurses and mothers on Kangar Mother Care is very important and they have to be told about Kangar Mother Care benefits, knowledge of KMC, how to implement KMC, how, how to develop the skills in these mothers when there is a meeting with women's group. Now WHO recommends Kangaroo Mother K should be initiated in health facility after stabilization for baby with babies of less than 1000 grams and continued at home after discharge across the facility community care continuum. However, community initiated KMC is currently not a part of WHO and India's national policy because of concerns regarding its efficacy and safety. More than a decade ago, WHO recommended KMC for low birth weight babies weighing less than 2000 grams, but global data estimated coverage is less than 5% for eligible low birth weight babies. You can see here also in India, in 2016, out of all the eligible babies, only 13.2% babies received KMC, whereas 87% babies did not receive KMC. And even the duration of KMC, that is the quality of KMC, only 20% babies received KMC for more than six days. Cochrane Review mentions Kangaroo mother care 
reduce his mortality to the extent of 30 to 40 percent, nosocomial infection, severe infections, hypothermia is also reduced with kangaroo care and improves growth and exclusive breastfeeding need for three months. Evidence for reduction in mortality is fine. The effect is noted when continuous kangaroo mother care is given and KMC is started within 10 days of birth. This is a community mortality after discharge in Madhya Pradesh and you can see five times higher post discharge mortality in those babies with discharge weight was less than 2000 grams. So higher mortality, very very high mortality. Quarter of all under 5 deaths are due to prematurity that you can see here, born too soon. Moreover, decline in neonatal mortality you can see here, it's slower, less than post neonatal mortality, which contrib contribution to neonatal to under 5 deaths is increasing. So, Kangaroo Mother Care has been identified as one of the most effective intervention for improving neonatal survival. Home-based KMC encompasses continuous skin-to-skin -skin contact, exclusive breastfeeding and followed by community health workers. KMC prevents 50% deaths among babies weighing less than 2,000 grams. Majority of neonatal and men Maternal deaths, more than 50%, occur at home beyond the reach of health services. Benefits of KMC, I'm sure you all know, it benefits baby, mother, family, community, and the nation. There are barriers in home-based KMC implementation. A recent review found a lack of endorsement of KMC by healthcare providers, means we all, and managers who might consider useful but not critical. Because of time constraints, lack of appropriate training of healthcare providers, medical concerns, inadequate social support and empowerment, and unsupportive cultural norms were major barriers for scaling up of KMC. Reluctance to study home-based KMC because of safety, ethical and socio-cultural issues. Due to multiple constraints and problems, ideal situations of doctor-driven hospital care not available or utilized by the families. Although close to almost 80% babies are born in healthcare facilities in India, KMC is rarely initiated and low birth weight infants are discharged too early even without giving a knowledge of Kangar mother care and they are discharged on the first day of life. Why home based KMC is important in India? Because of huge number of low birth weight and preterm babies with high rates of mortality and illnesses. Ideal hospital based newborn care services are in inadequate in quantity and quality. Cost of care in good institution is very high and not affordable due to constraints of manpower, infrastructure, early discharge is facilitated and KMC is to be continued, is advised to continue at home. Post discharge care and follow up is lacking due to concerns of safety, cultural, medical legal problems, not many studies recommend a home based Kangal mother care. But India cannot wait till facility based ideal care is available to provide universal Kangal mother care to all newborns. We can't wait that all facilities will start giving KMC and then we say, okay, now you continue at home. We have to start from today. Till date, till that time, with due precautions and careful actions, home-based KMC should be attempted. There are three situations of home-based KMC to be applied. In group one, low birth weight babies are delivered in the hospital. KMC was started under the instruction and guidance of doctors and nurses and baby was given planned early discharge 
and KMC continued at home with regular follow-up visits to the hospital, which we, we used to do in KM hospital and we have been doing in KM hospital Mumbai. Another group is baby delivered in the hospital and was eligible to receive KMC, but mother <coughs> did not stay in the hospital, so KMC had to be given at home. Third group, where baby is delivered at home and the subsequent care, including KMC, had to be given at home. So in that, these three situations, we really need to improve everywhere. And so improving home-based KMC is today's need of the hour. This is of some data of KMC follow-up center where Kangaroo Mother Care was implemented to the babies of less than 2,000 grams at KM Hospital Mumbai. And, and all these babies, mothers were asked to continue kangaroo mother care at home and we saw that discharge, after discharge from hospital, almost about 64 to 78% baby mothers continued kangaroo mother care and that too of good quality. And, and that is the reason that we could get a wonderful report on how they increase the weight in, in such babies. But where facility-based newborn care is not available and not reachable, home-based kangaroo mother care is to be given. But certain prerequisites, that is to provide good quality services, community health workers should have knowledge and skills related to KMC and should have a positive attitude for KMC have taken good practical training and developed a good skill to promote kangaroo mother care. No health limitations in offering newborn <coughs> care services in community and learn the art of counseling and convincing the mother and family members for kangaroo mother care. For that, there is a need to prepare at home. So it should start right from the antenatal if it is expected that probably this baby may be delivered. So the preparation should be the place of KMC where clean, well ventilated room away from draft of air and smoke and daily mopping of floor two to three times in a day. Upright position of the mother is very, very important up to 30 to 40 degrees with two pillows on bed which is here, you can see the diagram. And counseling also has to be very perfect so that it, she ensures the family support as well as she shows how to really give Kangaroo mother care while baby and mother are at home. And there should be some events they can they can even make a KMC support group. Mother's clothing and baby's clothing are very, very important, which I have already said that probably you all know about KMC. <coughs> Mother, father, adult family members can provide KMC, but they should be in good health. Maintain basic standard of hygiene, good family support, not smoking or drinking alcohol, no skin infection, hand washing and hand washing and daily bath is very, very important. So father and other family members are giving KMC to their babies. Okay, and but with them, educational materials such as information sheets, posters, video films on games in local languages should be made available to the mothers, families, and the community. Duration of kangaroo each session should be at least 90 minutes, and so it is effect so it effectively gives 60 minutes of sleep cycle, complete the sleep cycle and for better neurodevelopment outcome because sleep is very important for small babies. Increase total duration of 24 hours, slowly slowly one can increase as long as mother is comfortable. Shorter duration and frequent handling are stressful to the babies and during KMC, the, the mother has to monitoring is very important which is TABC, temperature, airway, breathing, color and feeding. Some donors have to be really seen that they do not give a back to the baby when till the time they are 2500 grams per sponging should be done daily. Do not handle infant too frequently, do not give water feeds and do not allow infant to be in contact with sick person.
when it will stop home based KMC, which is same as otherwise KMC, it is five minutes left. <laughs> With the baby gradually from KMC, when she starts wriggling to show that she is uncomfortable, pulls her limbs out and cries and fusses as soon as you keep the baby in KMC position. Supportive evidence is very, very important for home based KMC. From, and there are some available from India. Few multicentric studies in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Odisha, and ICMR have demonstrated safety, visibility, acceptability of home based KMC and firmly revealed ASHA, Anganwadi Worker, AMS offer good quality services for promotion and contribute in preventing death and diseases in vulnerable small and sick newborns. Very recent study of 4th October 2019, which mentions effective effect of community from Lancet, effect of community initiated Kangaroo Mother Care on survival of infants with low birth weight, a randomized controlled trial. And this was a wonderful study which was conducted in India to assess the effect of community initiated Kangal mother care provided to babies weighing 1500 to 2250 grams on neonatal and infant survival. In this RCT, superiority trials undertaken in Haryana between 2015 and 2018. Baby, they enrolled babies weighing 1500 to 2.250 at home within 72 hours of birth born at home or at health facility where stable and feeding. Randomly assigned one to one to the intervention that is community initiated Tamil mother care or control. Mothers and infants in the intervention group, meaning KMC given, were visited at home uh, daily for three days, then 5th, 7th, 10th, 14th, 21st and 28th days. To support Kangaroo mother care, the control group received routine care. The two primary outcomes were mortality between enrollment to 28 days and between enrollment to 150 days. And you can see here that mortality was high in the control group. Mortality as well as cumulative hazard deaths were significantly higher in infants in control group at 28 days and 180 days uh, in the control group as compared to the intervention group. <clears throat> so concluded, community initiated Kangaroo mother care substantially improves newborn baby infant, newborn baby and infant survival in low income and middle income countries. Incorporation of Kangaroo mother care for all infants with low birth weight irrespective of place of birth would substantially reduce neonatal and infant mortality rate. So in conclusion, under the guidance of and supervision, through regular multiple home visits to the community health workers with additional training for home-based KMC is safe to introduce in home-based area in the home, at home along with Facility-based KMC for the care of low birth weight infants in deprived section of the society till the ideal conditions are available to all newborn babies, needy babies. KMC is a part of essential newborn care including breastfeeding, infection prevention measures, identification of early danger signs and referral should be made if required. Large scale studies are required in different population groups to support home-based KMC implementation. For upgrading HBKMC, which a portable, easily readable weight scale is required for better monitoring of low birth weight babies in the community, supply of KMC bags to the community mothers, use of mobile for prompt and timely health care referrals, appreciation and encouragement and reward for good work done by the CHWs, and frequent guidance and supervision must be provided to community health workers to higher level functionaries. So in nutshell, when facility based newborn care is not available or unreachable, community health worker like ASHA, 
after appropriate training in Tangan mother and breastfeeding, can save many babies. And this is the continuation of game. See, at home, my work is going on by my mothers, and this is of KM mothers. Take home message implement KMC everywhere to improve quality survival, develop and create a culture of KMC, strengthen training of KMC at all levels of neural care and implement home-based KMC in community with the help of CHWs under the appropriate guidance and supervision. HBKMC is possible for implementation and need of the other. And I am thankful to all my people who have worked with me in KM Hospital and Dr. Shashibani. Thank you.